So it has been a couple of months since ChatGPT took the world by storm. Every day new extensions are created and in this video I will show you the 5 extensions you should use. One of the most annoying things about ChatGPT is that it's limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So I cannot ask for any recent information, which obviously we want because we are living in the now. And there's a tool that can help with that. The first extension is called WebChatGPT, ChatGPT with internet access. It's pretty easy, you just add it to Chrome and you press add extension and then you're all there. And now WebChatGPT with internet access has been added to Chrome. Once you go back to ChatGPT, you see that you have a couple more things in the bottom. So first you can select yes or no that it should search on the web. The results, so how many results do you want? How old should the results be? Do you want very recent or can it already be from 2022? The region and the fault prompt. Well, for now, let's just try it out and ask a simple question that it can only know if we ask for internet access. Why did the Twitter stock go down in 2022? So here you see that in the top you get some web search results. We have some links that will give information. So that's kind of like you're just using Google, you know. It's set here according to the information in number three. So that is this link. Twitter stock went down in 2022 due to doubt that emerged surrounding the Twitter acquisition deal. The stock sank by 12% on a single day. So with this tool, you actually do kind of a Google search, but you just get the answer from currently. If you feel that you're being held back by a chat GPT, not having access to the now, then this extension can really help you. So the second extension does it a bit the other way around. Instead of bringing Google to ChatGPT, it brings ChatGPT to Google. And it has a lot of five-star reviews, 523. And it says that it displays ChatGPT responses alongside search engine results. And it works on all your search engines. You just add it by pressing the blue button, add extension, and right away it opens a couple of settings that you have. Right now I'm just gonna do always, but for the dark team, that's always nice. Auto and this, this is all fine. You can just use the ChatGPT web app. Okay, so I'm at Google and I just ask, how do I bake chocolate chip cookies? And I press enter. As you see, we have the recipes, the normal responses from Google. And here on the right, you have the ChatGPT box and it just generates what I would get in a chat if I was really using the website. So once you're doing this, you don't always have to go to the OpenAI website and get your answers here. The only annoying thing is that it, yeah, it's quite slow. So once you go through the links on the left from Google, it still takes a while before ChatGPT generates the right. But all in all, it's a nice tool and it's nice to have ChatGPT on other locations than on the OpenAI chat. Then the number three that I wanted to share is the Merlin OpenAI ChatGPT powered assistant. And this might be the most important extension that you can use. OpenAI ChatGPT power tool to give you the AI magic on all websites with just a command or control plus M prompt. So it's literally like that, click command plus M to use OpenAI ChatGPT on any website. So I'm gonna add it, add extension. I get 11 free queries a day. So unfortunately it's not free for $19 a month. You get a thousand queries and also two times faster query time. I didn't know it was so expensive because I like the tool. Let me show you how it would work. Okay, so now I'm on Twitter. I signed in and I see this post from Elon Musk. I click on it and okay, there is a little text here. So now what I can do is control M. Right away I have a chat box that is like chat GPT. So I'm going to copy what it says on this poster. Not because it is easy, but because we thought it would be easy. Okay, now I have that one. Now I'm gonna do Ctrl M and I'm gonna ask, write a witty Twitter response to this post. We do this not because it's easy, but because we thought it would be easy. Like we underestimated the looks difficulty of this task, as the lesson learned. It, that can be funnier, right? I may, instead of uh, witty, I'm gonna do funny. I didn't even think this was <laughs> anything witty, but uh, let's do it again. In the bottom, you see your usage goes up. So now I'm two from 11 per day. And then, yeah, I would have to subscribe if I want more. Would it be easy? We were, we were yeah, wrong. Been there, done that. 
Okay, this is not a good example. I don't know where it's getting these results from. If you don't want to respond to a tweet, but want to make your own, then you can ask for that. Now I tried to make it and I already got the error that it's too busy. Okay, this session that I tried it now, it has not been amazing. But if you can just do this on all the pages that you want, you get such a crazy assistant that is just bringing your productivity, your skills, your everything to the next level. So the idea is, is very cool that you have it everywhere, wherever you want, however you want, but it doesn't work amazing yet. The next ChatGPT extension is one of my personal favorites and it's called the YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. So as you know, ChatGPT is very often used to either create texts or make it shorter, make a summary of certain text or websites or books. And this is exactly what you think. It can make a YouTube summary from an actual YouTube video, which is crazy. That's something that I wish I had, you know, if I'm watching a one hour long podcast, and I want to only know the highlights, something like this could help. Just like the other ones, we're gonna edit, add extension, and you can either install on Chrome or Safari. You don't have to sign up. So I see Marquez has a new video about uh, OnePlus 11. And you see on the right, transcript and summary. So right away, we have the whole transcript of the video. So if you want to read along with the video, this is already showing it. So now what I do is I press this button, the magical button to view AI summary. And what it does, it opens ChatGPT and it's just adding the title, the full video transcript. And then in the bottom, it asks video summary. And right here, we get the full video summary of the YouTube video. So it's super easy to use and you get a full transcript of the YouTube video, which is amazing. Now I can just read in a very short time if I should get the OnePlus 11 or not. The reviewer is overall positive about the OnePlus 11, potentially a better phone than a Galaxy S23. However, the reviewer also acknowledges that there are some corners cut in the design. I mean, come on, that's amazing. Like this video normally would take me 11 minutes to watch and I will watch it because I like the content. But here I just got the full review in six, seven sentences. That's just crazy, that's amazing. The last extension I wanted to share with you is Fancy GPT. And this one is not as groundbreaking as the other ones, but it's just nice and fun to use. And with this tool, you can make your chat GPT beautiful. You can save snippets as images, PDFs, and text files, and it just makes it more pretty to look at. Once you go to chat GPT and you have a conversation, hi, how are you doing? Hello, as an AI language model, I don't have feelings, but I'm here to help. How can I assist you today? Just talk with me. Okay, so it's happy to chat with me. That's good. What you do then is go to the top right to your extensions and you look for fancy GPT and click on it. And now you get a little pop-up saying, make your chat GPT fancy. And once you click on this, you can try a lot of different things. First, you have the style. You can do sketch, dark, light. I'm going to do neon. And you can add the title, conversation with bot. And here you see the whole conversation that you had. You can also exclude the message if you don't want one there. And what you can do then is save as image, PDF or text file. If you just want to share your chat GPT while it looks a bit more fancy, then this is a fun way to do. And it's just nice to use, you know, it's easy. You can reset it so you get everything back. These were five ChatGPT extensions that are very different, but all are amazing to use. I really enjoyed to use these apps a lot, and I hope you also enjoyed these extensions. I uploaded a video that shows how to create nice mid-journey logos for free. So watch that video here. And otherwise, I hope you watch the next video.